Letter from an Unknown Woman is a 1948 American film directed by Max Ophels. It was based on the novella of the same name by Stefan Zweig. The film stars Joan Fontaine, Louis Jordan, Mady Christians and Marcel Jernet. In 1992, Letter from an Unknown Woman was selected for preservation in the United States National Film Registry by the Library of Congress as being culturally, historically, or aesthetically significant. The film was adapted from the original Stefan Zweig novella by screenwriter Howard Koch. The film is mostly faithful to the book, though featuring minor divergences. The novel's sexual content is quite implicit, but because of censorship, the movie adaptation further dims it. Further divergences include a more prolonged first encounter between the two lovers, taking them through stage coaches, fairs and ballrooms rather than simply cutting to the long-awaited sexual encounter. Revealing the disease that kills Stefan Jr. and Lisa to be typhus and ignoring Lisa's tradition of sending Brand white roses every birthday. At the start of the novel, Brand has just turned 41, and forgotten about his birthday. This is significant because the absence of white roses confirms Lisa's death at the time of reading. The most noted divergence is a structural change. There is no duel in the original story, nor is there a character such as Johan. The unknown woman from the book never marries, but lives off a series of lovers who remain unnamed and mostly unintrusive. Because of this, the protagonist's actions offend no one in particular. In the film, Bran is challenged to a duel, which he initially plans to ditch. The finale reveals the contestant to be Johan, who demands satisfaction over Lisa's affair. Having read Lisa's letter, Bran boldly accepts the duel and walks into it, his fate uncertain. This redeeming action has no literary equivalent. In fact, Brand's literary equivalent can only faintly recall Lisa after reading the letter, and there's no significant event past this.